Hi guys, I'm First G here. Uh, good day, good day. I hope everybody is doing well. Okay. Anyway, folks, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I cured some salt codfish, right? And that was about the seventh, so almost a month. But uh, during that time, you know, I went in and, and turned them over. Um, so right now, um, I'm at the last curing part of the process, okay? Um, so, as you remember, you know, I, I had a lot of weights weighing them down. And we're covered. The weight was um, to keep the, um, to make sure that um, it helps to get out a lot of the moisture. Okay. So we are unveiling it right now. Okay, and guys, I made a mistake. I have a caloric um, Max um, oven um, that's on top of this. When I bought it, guys, I did him because I lost the manual. So, but right on top it was said, "I'm dehydrated." Was one of the thing. And guys, when I saw that, I was so happy. So I have a oven. The color caloric Max oven, guys, is awesome. It does everything. It um, does microwave part, it dehydrates. Um, let me tell you what it does. It, it air fries, it bakes, it defrosts, it can do pizza, it can do roast, it can do toast, and it warms, and it um, also do grill, and it proof. And you know what proof is, guys? When you, um, you make your dough, and you need to get the dough rice, that's the term, the scientific term they use, proof. So it does all of that, guys. And you know, guys, the funny thing about it, I was only utilizing it for um just a few stuff but yesterday today yesterday i was here and i said um let me check um you know go online because once you don't have the manual they they, they, they make is online and i went on google and i've come up with it and it's um caloric um max oven and guys that thing tell me how to do everything and that's when i found that um and it's there in but you know because it's in right now and you know i did i never looked down and see so i have a dehydrate and folks it works like a charm you know so okay this is the codfish i'm unveiling right now folks um already um unveil one and um dehydrate that one already and soak it and so it was two i already did so guys this is what the fish look like you see salt fish this is about almost a month right now I put it in, I, the date I put down was the 7th of August, and now it's almost the end. So, the, guys, this is what it looks like right now. So, it needs one more process of dehydrate, and it's going to go into the dehydrate. And normally, I would do it in the oven, but since I know that uh, the dehydrate work on my caloric max, awesome, guys. So, this is it right here, guys. And like I said, the salt, I can use again for another batch of salt fish. Um, you know salt doesn't so this is the this is a three and this is one left so i'm gonna take you over okay i'll be back in a minute and i'll show you the um the one that's done okay I'll be back yes guys so guys this is the oven here color max and as i say guys it's a jack of all trade so i have one fish in there already just finished dehydrate how it works um in the color max um you're gonna have it on um, 300, uh, 130 um, degree Fahrenheit. That's the lowest on the max. Um, that's for dehydrate, and you and you get three hours. Um, so I did three hours, and it um, didn't finish. So I give it another, maybe another. They had it the last three. I give um, depends on how much dehydration it need, but it's three, 300 max for the um, three hours. I think it was done in three hours, yeah. And um, you do it at 180. Unlike my oven, my oven, you would set it at 179. And basically, guys, you just, um, it goes in the oven for about a little bit, um, about the same, about the same three hours for dehydration, okay? So, guys, this is the one that is finished. I have another one that's finished and all soak and um, <laughs> done. So, this is it. Oh, this is the dehydration process here. This is the dehydration basket. Okay, I'm not really gonna give a tutorial on this because a lot of people have them at the manual. So right now guys, 
this so this is the codfish here that is um dehydrated so this is the final process right now guys so guys can you see it so this is what it look like it's stiff as a bone see that so all i'm gonna do right now with it guys i'm just gonna cut it up slice it up and put it in a bag and put it in the freezer in the fridge just like how we, you know we do anything else. Uh, so let me make sure you can see it what it looks like the final product so this is it there guys see light as a feather all the moisture is gone and guys it have so much flesh on it once you put it to soak so if you're gonna use i'm good I, if i'm gonna use this now i put it to soak so guys all i'm gonna do with this now just cut it how i wanted it this one i'm gonna put in a bag because most time when i cook saltfish this amount we go because we cook for more than one of us so so guys this is the final product there for your, the whole process of making your own saltfish and the next thing guys is that you cook it so guys that's the saltfish right there okay i just hope let me make sure you can see it you know and like i said the coloric um max um oven guys it's just awesome so that's the saltfish there guy light you remember how heavy it was so this is almost a month and like i said um after five days people always just um take it out and dehydrate it and use it after after three after five days but what i did folks i just leave it i just went in and turned it several times and i leave it in there for almost a month and today is about what almost the end of the month i put it in i did it the 7th of august and today i dehydrate i dehydrate a couple of two more ready because four and all so this is your saltfish here right now folks ready for any use you want so that's it basically right there folks okay that's okay so um the next one i'm gonna put in right now the one that i just show you so i'm gonna get it in the basket You want to get um you know some of the salt uh, off of it and that one looks so beautiful so guys this is the one that is going to be going in for the dehydrated can you see this is the last one and it goes in the basket here this is gonna go in the bottom to catch all the um so you don't get the oven. I mean, one day I'll show you all the different parts, guys. It rotate, it don't rotate to chicken, it does everything. I you see guys, a lot of time we buy these things and we just um because I said, you know, oh I want I want I must get a, a caloric um a, a, a oven. Uh, because I have a toaster oven, right? And I got it folks and all I did in it because I just still stick to my oven. All I did is just a few stuff and it just in past and I said, you know what, let me see. Because I, I lost the manual, so I just went online and um everything, it tells you how to do everything. So this is where I'm gonna put it right now. Put the basket right inside here. Okay, and this is gonna go for three hours at 180 the um degree Fahrenheit. No higher that that that's I think the maximum. Like each thing you do in there, folks, it tells you the um, the amount of um, time and um, the eat to do it. So basically, that's it. So it's in right now, folks. So I'm gonna just turn on oven, and it's gonna go for three hours at. 180 degree Fahrenheit that's the lowest on it anyway folks I'm gonna get that done and I'm gonna come right back and show you some of the salt fish that is ready and I'm gonna be cooking that okay we're we'll right back hi guys I'm back and guys um, I'm gonna have some of the salt cod fish for supper and I'll show you this is the final product here guys this is see how beautiful it is and this is snook snook um salted okay and guys it's so nice so right now i'm just gonna um saute up some i have all my 
herbs and stuff here. I have my onions, my garlic, my tomato, my green onions, my bell peppers, thyme, and some allspice peppers. I'm just going to put in the, the onions right now. Let it just saute a bit before I add the... I'm just going to add the onion and the green onion in right now. Well, you know, you see me done salt fish and bit, uh, a couple of times, but I just want to, this particular one, I made myself, guys, it feels so good. I actually do this myself, I know what went into it, and, you know, that's the beautiful thing about doing stuff for yourself, too. Especially when it comes to food. So the onions, my green onion and my um, onions are just um, sauteing right now. Put a few all spice for flavor. Guys, I still can't, I'm tasting it and I cannot believe that is um codfish. I'm just gonna put one of my own vegetable cube and some parsley. And the parsley I wash and, and chop and freeze, guys, because it perish so fast, you know. So it's still good. You just take it out frozen and use it. So that's one of my cubes there, and the cube doesn't have much salt in it. Um, my own vegetable cube. I make sure I don't put um. I just put very little salt. I'm gonna add the in the garlic right now too. Okay. Get the garlic salty a bit. And this is um, Jamaican style saute salt fish, cut um, cut fish, or this is more like Empress V snook. So I'm gonna add the bell peppers right now. I don't want them to cook too crunchy. You know, add rust them and color going here. And I have a Scotch bonnet pepper, guys. And this is my time. I like to. Take some of the um, leaves off. Because when you discard it, the old thing with all that flavor on it, you know. So I like to just take off some of the leaves um, so that remain as flavoring. Okay. So. And you know, I did wash off my sausage with um. I put it to soak overnight in some lemon juice and I still add a little vinegar to it. I'm gonna add a little oregano and fresh parsley went in already. Oregano and bays like the any the myself so you could say they're fresh too guys. And I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. Just a little bit. I don't want to add too much salt to it, to my dish. That is for flavor. Not a lot, so I just thought I'd use this pot. And here's my... I'm adding a little bit of turmeric, guys. A little bit, little bit that can just cook right there. That's for flavor. And like I said, guys, it's your choice. You put what herbs and spices you like. I'm adding some sweet homemade paprika to it. You can put whatever herbs and spices you like to your dishes. And one of my favorite um, herbs is Cumin. It gives you fish and everything such a nice taste. I'm saving the pepper for last because I'm gonna add some of my dress seasoning. Uh, my dress seasoning went on pretty fast, but I have lots and lots of bottles because I made them myself. This is one of the things I don't have to buy. I haven't buy this in here. A little bit of jerk seasoning. 
you know, to eat a bit. Then folks, I'm gonna add my homemade codfish, fall fish. Snook, straight from the yard. Right in the pot, guys. So there you go. There's my codfish, homemade codfish, snook, in the pot. I'm just gonna wash up my seasoning right there. Don't want to waste any of that. And guys, I think everything is in that pot. I don't want to drop too much, but I'll drop a little bit of my homemade dry seasoning, just a little bit. Um, yeah, even though the salt fish is very fresh, it is soaked and boiled and I boil it out but you don't want to totally lose all the salt from your salt fish you know because then if you will be eating fresh fish and now guys I'm just gonna add my scotch bonnet and I'm putting in a whole one seed and all yes Let me just mix it up. And I did put some vinegar in the salt fish early on because that's a nice, it flavors your pot also when you're doing fish. So I did some, put some vinegar. And the sweet paprika will just um, get rid of the tart from the vinegar. So guys, this is my homemade salt fish here, guys. Wow. My favorite quotes, you don't get no better than that, guys. You don't get no better. And um, we just have a little cup of boiled banana and I steamed some cabbage and um, carrots early on. So just some green banana, we're gonna have it with. That's it. Some green boiled banana. Okay, guys, that's it right there. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a few minutes. Then when we uh, come right back and play it, okay? Easy as one, two, three. Be back. Yes, guys, as Mako famous word, the boat has landed. So that's my green banana on there and my cabbage and carrots. And I'm gonna put my homemade codfish on right now. Snook. So this is the codfish going on now homemade guys you don't get and the best feeling you get is when you know you do something for yourself and you see how it's done and you get a good result you know this is how I feel when I do my own dishes I want to show more of the codfish so you can see the codfish So guys, this is my homemade codfish from scratch. I hope you enjoy and try at some point, try it for yourself. So guys, this that's it right there right now. There's my homemade codfish with um, green boiled banana and codfish you know, not better than when you have your green banana guys and some steamed cabbage along with some carrots and guys that's supper right there and guys i just want to big up everybody maria mello big up yourself you can big up yourself fire jeremy big up yourself and guys please go over to jeremy and i channel um embers g and jeremy and popeye are making a difference right now he's down there packing away bags and books and things for the kids you see he gives out some already but Guys, you're going to have a whole thing coming up. We're going to be posting so you can see the um, what we're doing right now. So it's a good thing if you want to go over there and, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. Okay, we we'll really appreciate it. And um, so we're going to continue to help the children back to school. And, you know, teenagers, um, kids, and also the elderly folks. Um, but it's a start. And like I said right now, guys, 
I put up for about, we have about nine kids. I books and pencil and things for that. Um, you know, I, what little, you know, I do what I, I can. So that's my first contribution there. Um, with the back to school, nine kids, back to school, a book, pencil, crayon, everything, ruler, everything. Okay. And I think we have one girl that, um, we're going to get, um, her school fee paid. She's that actress in, um, um, you guys, please go over and, and support her, Kayla White. She's back in high school and going back to school, and she's doing so well. And you see her up there on the screen, how oh, she hacked in um, Popeye movie. I think she's going to come into some of um, Jamie Hood with um, Fire. So, Kayla White, big up yourself. And, um, you know, I'm sponsoring her, um, you know, I'm paying her school fee um, back to school. Okay? So, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. And you guys, um, everybody, have yourself. Call us, Smith. Big up yourself, Oliver. Um, lifestyle. Big up yourself. And Oliver, thanks a lot. See, guys, I just shout out Oliver and tell him to subscribe to his channel and show him the dish with cola that I was doing. And right away, Oliver returned the favor and said, "Yes, I subscribe and I like what you're doing." I tell you, this guy is um is awesome. Please go over to Oliver Lifestyle and support his channel and call us, Smith. Also, those are two great guys right there doing YouTube positive thing. No, no, you know, just positive stuff to help their people, okay? So, Oliver, again, big up yourself and thanks for the subscribe. And, you know, I keep um, watching and I'll keep watching and thumbs up. We'll do the same for you, okay? We have to help each other. Unity all the way. Peace.